man, filming is so difficult in my yard. I'm in the flight path of um, the North Shore Search and Rescue Talon and Seymour Mountain. I can see right there. Mm -hmm. And also the, um, the there's a, um, the bridge off the North Shore. One of the two bridges off North Shore is just to the south of me. Um, so anytime they're around starting now in the afternoon, uh, they start to do the, um, the traffic flights. So there's a plane circling. <laughs> if there's any kind of accident or traffic jam, the plane circles. And if there's a rescue or any kind of training, the, the Talon, the helicopter flies overhead. And my neighbor across the street is rebuilding his roof and my neighbor on this side is building his uh, hot tub uh, cover um, gazebo. It's uh, a lot of noise here. <laughs> oh, we just gotta sit here and wait. All right, folks, the construction that two, the, the two neighbors have stopped. The other neighbor has stopped this leaf blower. So let me see if I can get this filmed. So in today's video, what I want to talk about is um, kind of a state of the union camping edition. So obviously 2020 has been a, just a weird ass year for everybody. Um, and uh, because of the travel restrictions uh, in the sense of um, uh, you, all the people that would have gone on vacation to Hawaii, the Caribbean, Mexico, Europe, whatever, everyone is staying put. So pretty much everyone is staying and traveling within their own province, their own state, where, wherever you happen to be. And um, uh, the one thing that we've noticed is that the spots that I would be camped at normally, they're just people everywhere in the backcountry and the people are going further and further out and they're making a mess of things. Uh, I want to try to find a couple of photos um, I've seen down in national parks in the States. Um, I can't remember if it's national park or if it's BLM. Um, the situation is so bad that they had to close the place down. So with all of this influx of people to the backcountry, um, comes with garbage and uh, as longtime followers of the channel you guys know I do a lot of cleanup in the lakes I also clean up the campsites wherever I go but it's just been really really bad and one of my personal pet peeves not only is it just gross it's also really disgusting for the dogs and very dangerous for the dogs is human feces and so that's what today's video is about we're going to talk about um, I'm going to use this section as kind of my pro tip series that I've been doing and uh, give you guys some ideas for people. I I'm sure most of you guys know, but just in case somebody doesn't, um, hopefully this will give you some ideas. I'll give you one story about uh, just how gross or how bad it is. So I think it was two years ago, I took um, I took my wife out to a little spot. Sorry, I'm just keeping an eye on the dogs are running everywhere and Maggie's eating poo probably. Um, I took my wife out to Squamish and uh, it, it's a user maintained campsite um, in the sense of there's, there is a, a, an outhouse there, but the campground is like 1.6 kilometers long. So I think that's about a mile and you can camp all along the river. It's really nice there. Um, so I took her and we camped at the far end and then one of the days we decided oh let's go to take take the dogs for a walk because i wanted to show her the uh, the confluence of where the river is then another river comes in we walked down to the far end and there was a uh, three or four cars of young people that were camping along the other river bank and one of the group had walked up the rope by like 30 feet and just pooed in the middle of the road. There's toilet like just fresh there's toilet paper there's just giant pile of human poo and they were just camped on the riverbank. I mean, that's just disgusting. It's like, seriously, you should just bring a shovel with you and just bury your poo, and, or at least go into the bush. Like, literally the poo was in the middle of the road, and of course, here's the problem. This is why I'm so mad about it. Pretty much all dogs that I know, they all eat human poo. So if you are out partying the woods and you've been taking drugs, um, if you've take, been taking edibles, you've been taking acid, you've been taking LSD, whatever it is, if it's in your digestive system, something that you consumed, and you poo it out, that, that human feces now has drugs in it. And I can tell you the number of times that I've read online about somebody's dog that has actually eaten human feces and then 
either died or had major medical problems. When I'm at camp, that's not something I want to worry about and it just really, really pisses me off. So if you want to get out to the nature, get out into nature and, and camp, great. You got to learn to deal with your poo. Let's get into it. So if you're car camping, uh, truck, truck camper, truck camper camping, um, there's lots of choices. If you don't want to use your toilet inside your camper for whatever reason, um, for example, some people they only use their porta potty for number ones, because um, only for urine, because they uh, they don't want to deal with the um, <clears throat> the solids that's in a porta potty, so they use gas stations and outhouses or whatever. Um, there's lots of people who car camp and they're in tents and they don't have that kind of facility with them. I'm going to show you some options. So first of all, this is the simplest thing you could possibly bring with you. A little plastic shovel. I think this is literally a couple bucks. I've got this shovel, my gosh, like 30 years ago when I first started camping or something like that. Maybe even 35 years ago. It's, it's probably like two bucks. I've had this as super lightweight. And when you get to camp, the first thing you should do is... Uh, besides cracking a beer is to get uh, get your pit toilet taken care of a little shovel to take with you and this is your simplest choice the next choice is a much larger garden shovel right something like this I see a ton of overlanders these guys uh, the mall crawlers who love to have this thing mounted on the side of their vehicle because it makes them look cool yeah that's awesome do what you gotta do man but uh, this uh, this is uh, probably not that expensive I'm, I'm guessing like, I've owned this for many years but I'm assuming like 25 bucks or so down at the hardware store and uh, it's really short not that long this will dig a hole pretty quick I've, I've used this camping before the shovel of choice for me right now just because of the limited storage space in my camper is the I want to say this is the five joy I could be getting the name wrong uh, again not sponsored by any of these these guys this is the five joy uh, survival shovel is what they call it it comes in multiple sections these tubes or is it that connect together screw together and then the shovel head here which folds out turns into that let me put it all together and show you guys that's the shovel put together these sections there is one two three four four sections and uh, they simply screw together and then the tip here a little sleeve nice really solid um, piece of equipment and you can also turn this into I guess a hoe so you can dig this way. This is a nice shovel. I really like it. Not actually showing you guys that. I mean, pit toilet is pretty obvious, but I'm going to show you some uh, some options here. If you're digging a pit toilet, what you want to do is you want to have your um, just pile your your dirt off to one side. What you want to do is you want to have the the hole deep enough that uh, more narrow in one direction because if you're just squatting over the pit you want to be able to um, not have it so wide that you you kind of have a too wide of a stance so pretty narrow but long longer this way and have it deep enough that you might use it several times or if you have more people in your party you may want to dig it quite a bit deeper and then with each person that uses it you shovel a bit of dirt back on top of the pile and then deep enough that uh, when you're done for the few days of camping, you can bury the hole um, completely. So this is kind of like your basic um, uh, pit toilet. And if you got a few extra dollars that you can spare, uh, this is a clean waste portable toilet. Now you can use this in two different ways. Uh, this, I'll open it up and show you guys. Here we go. So this little tripod um, seat here is awesome because you now you don't need to squat. If you find, find that really uncomfortable, you've got the ability to um, to have a proper seat. And I mentioned there's two ways to use this. Uh, one is that you simply just dig a hole and then just bury it like a normal pit toilet. The other thing you can do as well too is that this particular toilet comes with a mesh bag that uh, nets over this piece right here. And then there are these uh, kits that you can buy that has um, uh, plastic. It's a very, very robust uh, plastic bag. Uh, and then um, there's two layers. There's chemicals in it that deals with the solids and the, and the liquids. Uh, and then you, when you're done using it, you simply seal it up and uh, it gets tossed away into the actual garbage. Uh, so 
it's it's a little bit more money to spend but if you have the extra few bucks to spend this is a nice option all right so what i've done here as you can see i've um i've used this is a little cherry tree that i gotta gotta pull out anyways because i don't want it here but um i've just used an existing tree branch and then i put in three more uh, branches around and then i've got a plastic black plastic garbage bag and what i'm going to do is i'm going to tape it uh I've cut it open and then I'm just going to tape it to the tree branches and going to make a little shelter. And there you go, my friends. You've got you guys have a wonderful little guard dogs. You get yourself a wonderful little uh, privacy shelter here. You can make it a little bit bigger if you want, but um, uh, learns this learns this little technique in the Boy Scouts 35 years ago or something like that. There's absolutely no reason for you to just poo in the middle of the road. That concludes another little episode of my pro tips and uh, my pet peeve, personal pet peeve besides garbage is the feces out in the campgrounds. Alright you guys, thanks very much for watching this video, sticking with me. Thanks very much for my Patreon supporters and we'll see you guys in the next video.